Hey guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm doing a tutorial that is once again a request from one of my viewers and it's on how to get cool toned moody effects within your images. So uh, I've done some similar tutorials before so every tutorial that I do is probably not going to be exactly the same. Uh, there's always slight variations between the colorings. So this one I'm going to go a little bit more um, vibrant with the coloring so hopefully you guys enjoy it. So the first color we're going to bring up is a solid color and it will be 7A8493. And press OK. So it's kind of like a blue gray color. We're going to set this to soft light at 100%. And it's not often that I set them to 100%, but we do want a bit more vibrance with this, uh, these tones. So that will kind of help in, in doing that. Now we're going to bring up curves. And we're going to put in a few points for RGB. So the first point is going to be 8 and 0. The next point will be 38 and 42. The next point will be 129 and 124. And the next point will be 176 and 169. And the next one will be 217 and 213. And the last point will just be 255. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the red channel in curves and we're going to put in a few more points. So the first point will be 8 and 0. The second point will be 20 and 24. The next point will be 136 and 133. And then the last point will be 246 and 255. Okay, so I'll show you guys what that's done with the curves layer. So that's just kind of given the image a little bit more vibrance, working with the reds and blues in the image a little bit more there, and just giving the image a little bit more contrast. Now we're going to bring up Selective Color. And as you guys know, I love to use this tool because it's just so versatile and what it can do for an image. So we're going to go to the whites, and we're going to set the cyan to minus 6 just to bring away any strong, like really strong blue coloring in the image. And we're going to go to the magentas and we're going to set them to minus six just to remove the, the real pink tones in the image. And we're going to go to the yellows as well and remove that to minus six just so we're keeping that cool effect. And now we're going to go to the neutrals and we're going to set cyan to plus two just to give the overall image a little bit more of a blue tone. Then we're going to set the magenta to minus five, just removing any more pink tones out of the image. And we're going to set the yellows to minus seven. So really giving it that cool effect once again. And the blacks will just be left as zero. Now we're going to go to the blacks and we're going to change the cyan to plus four, getting more blue into the shadows of the image. The magenta will set to minus five and the yellow will set to minus five. So it's really giving that cool effect overall. And that's pretty much it for the coloring. I'm just going to add a levels just so we can give the image some more contrast. So we're going to just move the shadows across to six. And then we'll move the highlights just across to 248, just to give it more contrast. Alright guys, that is actually the end of the tutorial. It's a very quick one today. I'll show you guys a before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So it's really quite a big difference even just by using a few uh, adjustment layers, which is why I love them. So this is a before and that's the after. So it's given the image a lot more vibrance but still kind of kept that moody effect and made the image quite cool toned as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will hopefully be doing more requests soon. Uh, if you don't see many videos from me in the coming weeks, it's because I've moved and I don't really think I'm going to have internet for a while. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and please keep sending the requests through. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!